Welcome to another Two Minute Finance for Expats. This guide comes to you with the help of our friends at Esquire Group International Tax Advisory. Our topic today is PIFIX. I know it sounds like a terrible disease, and to a certain extent you'd be right. It's a financial disease. PIFIX stands for Passive Foreign Investment Company. A passive foreign investment company, or PIFIC for short, is a foreign corporation, meaning a non-US corporation, where 75% or more of its income for the year is passive income, or 50% or more of the assets produce passive income, or are held for the production of passive income. Passive income generally includes dividends, interest, rents, royalties, and capital gains. For all intents and purposes, PIFICs are non-US investment funds such as mutual funds, hedge funds, and exchange-traded funds, or ETFs. Like many expats, you're probably asking yourself, well, why do I need to know this? The answer is because PIFICs are subject to draconian taxation by the US that often wipes out any profits they generate, and you have to file yet another pesky report to the IRS. So let's talk tax. Distribution from PIFIC such as dividends are taxed as ordinary income and don't qualify as qualified dividends, which are taxed at the generally more advantageous long-term capital gains tax rate. PIFIC gains, and what are known as excess distributions, are subject to special US tax rules, and I don't mean special in a good way. Excess distributions are distributions that are greater than 125% of the average distributions received from the PIFIC during the three preceding tax years, or holding period of less. PIFIC gains and excess distributions are not eligible for capital gains treatment, must be allocated per day to prior years in the holding period, amounts allocated to prior years in the holding period are taxed at the highest tax rate then in effect, and to top it all off, interest is charged on the tax allocated to prior years as though it was due then. Oh, and if the value of your PIFIC exceeds 25000 or 50000 if filing a joint return, on the last day of the tax year you're required to file Form 8621 with your US tax return. There are some tax elections that can be made to lessen the tax burden of owning PIFICs. Please listen to our two-minute guide on PIFIC and QEF elections to find out more. Thanks for listening, and remember, we're expats too.